Just disconnect this plug here first. You're gonna have, I believe, two cables on the left hand side. You're gonna have one more. This is for the fog light. So that's one side done. We've got to repeat the same thing here, only we have only one cable on the left hand side fog light. That's the bumper free to be removed. I'm gonna try my best to show you how to disconnect the cooling system hoses here. So you, you have a clip here that you have to lift. Now put your finger on it when you're pulling it. And what I would suggest to do is get yourself maybe one of these pry tools just to help you out. You don't want to pull on the hose too hard. And if you just slide it out that um, shouldn't put up a big fight pull up and in the exact same way place your pry tool be careful not to break the bottle um, just be very careful actually I have this cooler intercooler charge pipe in the way here which I have fully disconnected I just need to remove out of the way and this will make my life a little bit easier and you can just give it a, a light wiggle you don't need to remove it completely as long as it has disconnected okay One more here and give it a good wiggle. This is Torx 25. Hopefully you can see this. 
So I'm gonna slide a small screwdriver Go on pipe out of the way. Yes. This is coming out. Just give it a good wiggle. That's that's out. Don't forget your clip. Insert it in place. Now let's disconnect the last hose that holds the radiator in place here. That's the clip. I'm going to help myself with a large thick screwdriver. Just pry it out of its seat. Just be careful not to damage anything. Don't force it if it doesn't come out. Give it plenty of wiggle. That's that pipe. So that's our coolant radiator out of the way. got one more hose here don't forget that before you remove the engine 